Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Andrew May here, investment advisor and certified financial planner professional, bringing you more real world strategies designed to assist you in navigating your personal financial life. In today's video, we'll be reviewing my personal investment portfolios. We'll take a look at each portfolio, its asset allocation, discuss the types of securities it owns, review each portfolio's expense ratio, and talk about the strategy that I am employing in the management of each account. I participate in my firm's 401k plan and direct 100% of my contributions to one fund, a target date retirement fund. This fund is actually a fund of funds and it has exposure to four different broad-based mutual funds, all of which are index funds. I have a 40% allocation to a total U.S. stock index fund, a 27% allocation to a total international stock index fund, a 23% allocation to a total U.S. bond index fund, and a 10% allocation to a total international bond index fund. The expense ratio of this portfolio is 14 basis points. And if you'd like to learn more about my experience investing in my 401k and how I went from having a zero balance to over $401,000 over a 12-year period, then please be sure to view my video $401,000 in my 401k, how I did it. I'll put a link in the description section below. The asset allocation of this fund is set by the asset manager and it becomes more conservative over time as they get closer to the retirement date associated with the target date retirement fund. This makes for a very easy and simplified approach to investment management and really the only thing that I have to focus on as the participant is making my contributions and maximizing them each and every year to the best of my ability. In my individual investment account, which is taxable, I have an asset allocation as follows. U.S. stocks, 43%. This does include large cap, mid cap, and small cap stocks. I have a 10% allocation to international stocks, which includes developed and emerging markets, 35% exposure to bonds, which includes both U.S. and foreign bonds, and 12% other, which breaks down as real estate, 2%, natural resources, 2%, exponential technologies, 8%. The expense ratio of this portfolio is only 24 basis points. In my IRA accounts, I have an asset allocation that looks pretty similar to the asset allocation in my individual account. It's a 41% allocation to U.S. stocks, 13% allocation to international stocks, 34% allocation to bonds, and again, 12% allocation to other, which consists of real estate, natural resources, and exponential technologies. The expense ratio of this portfolio is only 21 basis points. So if you are still watching the video and you've made it to this slide, then congratulations because this is the slide where I present a summary of the strategy that I employ in the management of all of my investment accounts. So for those of you who have been following the channel for a little while, you may already be aware that I am a proponent of strategic asset allocation. The asset allocation of my portfolios is aligned with my goals, my time horizon, my risk tolerance, and comfort level with stock market volatility. The investments found in my portfolios are passively managed mutual funds and exchange traded funds. The passively managed mutual funds are created by asset management companies such as Dimensional Fund Advisors and Vanguard, and the exchange-traded funds are created by BlackRock iShares, State Street Global Advisors Spiders, and Vanguard ETFs. I follow a buy, hold, and rebalance approach. The expense ratios in each of my portfolios is very low, as you saw. Portfolios outside of retirement accounts managed this way tend to be very tax efficient with a low turnover rate and low distributions. The strategy that I apply in the management of my own investment accounts is the same strategy that I apply in the management of my clients' investment accounts. As an advisor, I believe that what's good enough for me is good enough for my clients, and what's good enough for my clients is good enough for me. So there's consistency between the way that I manage my own assets and my clients' assets. If you would like to learn more about asset allocation, and particularly strategic asset allocation, 
I encourage you to watch my YouTube video titled Acid Allocation, Learn the Basics. If you found today's video informative, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you know of anyone else who may benefit from the contents of this video, consider doing that person a favor and sharing the video with them. If you would like to learn more about my services or communicate with me directly, please visit my website, maywealthstrategies.com. Until next time, I'm Andrew May, investment advisor and certified financial planner professional, and I believe you can do this.